North American butternut trees have been decimated by a fungal canker disease, leaving them endangered in Ontario. But the RVCA and its partners have developed a unique, innovative and highly successful program to save this tree from extinction, a program that is widely used by local developers, municipalities and utilities for their species at risk compensation requirements. RVCA staff locate and monitor pure, disease-tolerant butternut trees for several years before collecting their seeds. These seeds are nurtured into new super seedlings and planted on specially managed orchards for future seed collection. More than 5,000 healthy butternut trees have been planted this way, with a more than 60% survival rate, a huge success in the world of hardwood tree planting. So it's all tied together in terms of finding the trees, cloning them, collecting seed from them. Our sort of mandate is to help butternut persist on the landscape. If you've made a t-shirt, that's what we do. So when we go back, you'll see there's about 1,600 trees planted. They, they spray them, they mow them, they keep the vegetation down as per the rules of the permit. We started here and then with input from Rose and FGCA, and now we're managing seven sites in total with the idea of dispersing these trees. These are trees producing nuts at six years. These trees are plucked specifically out of the wild because of their superiority. And so we've got them all in one place now, so they're not they're not breeding with other trees that are susceptible to the canker. So if ever this is going to work, it's going to work in a place like this. The program's focus on genetic superiority goes above and beyond legal compensation requirements, which means the seedling stock is far superior and far more likely to survive. It's pretty incredible what uh, Dan and the RVCA is doing here. Uh, this is actually working and we're growing healthy trees and the success rate is fantastic. And uh, I think that means everything. It's proof, right? Proof's in the pudding. <laughs> um, so just, just constantly planting more trees that are going to die is probably not the best approach, but having them concentrated in an area like this sets up, sets up spots where you can do some really interesting research. We we're starting to discuss some of the possible questions that we could uh, look at uh, going forward in places like this now that they've been established. Because the program has been alive since 1996, We've had a lot of time to sort of work on working out the details of it. 